Hi and welcome in. This is going to be a tutorial for uh, beginners that want to use Sony Vegas Pro 13 and I'm just going to show you guys a little bit on how we do it on uh, some of the stuff that, that is uh, a little bit tricky sometimes on the uh, on the Sony Vegas I'm just going to uh, drag a video file into here drag it right into there and I'm going to show you guys to get this quality a little bit better Sony has this thing right here where you gotta click on that to turn that off and sometimes they have it on on good on here too just make sure you click on best hit accept and it will get you a better quality here you can choose how many frames per second you want to have it at and you can go in here as well and check which format you want to use you can use that 4k or whatever you want and hit that save button and it will be there and here's the audio I usually go and click on surround uh, usually it's on on stereo and then also click on best right here and here as well so that's uh, Let's show you how we do picture in picture. I'm just gonna go in here. Just gonna grab a file and put it in here. And you wanna click right here on this arrow right here. And it will pop up this uh, screen right here. I make it a little bit smaller so it's easier for you guys to see. And sometimes if you are the first time using it, this box right here is checked. So just make sure you uncheck it, like right now it's blue when I check it, now it's unchecked. So and then you can do picture in picture, and that's how I do it. I just drag it right into there and it goes right smoothly into that corner. Alright, and then just close out of there and there you go. And even if I throw another file in here, it will automatically uh, keep this uh, file at the same size. Some other programs don't do that, but this one, the Sony Vegas does. It keeps it at the same, uh, same for uh, you know, same thing there in the corner at the same size, so that way they all match up. But I'm just going to uh, delete that one right now, and then I'm going to show you how to do a split screen. Now, how you do that? There's a little arrow right here. There's actually two two things you can click on on video effects, and this one is video hand cropped or whatever you want to call it and you take uh, this video file is 1920 by 1080p and uh, you click on that and you do that uh, times 2 so that gives you 3840 hit enter alright I guess we gotta undo that as well first before we get to it <laughs> there we go now we're back in business let's try this again there we go that should do it see now that's right in the center and all you want to go on X center right here and you want to hit 0 to get it to that side and if you want it on the other side you can go 1920 and it will bring it to the other side so whichever side you want that one to be on you can do it that way and you do the same thing to this one just click uh, there 3840 hit enter want the X center to be zero because we got the other one on the other side and there you have it that's how you do a split screen on the Sony Vegas to make it look nice that way the picture is not stretched out oh, I was going to show you another thing right in here you want to make sure under under uh, this part right here that both of these are clicked as yes otherwise you will see right in there let me see if I can pull this out otherwise it's going to stretch see it's going to stretch it if you don't have it on yes so how you go about rendering is you highlight the section that you want to render so let's say we want to render this section you click here on file render as and I usually have mine already preset so I make a star on it so it's uh, as favored and here you can choose where you want to save the file and then name it and you can choose from a variety of different options in here as well and that's where you can see I got mine right in there it is under Sony AVC and it makes it into a, either MP4 or M2TS or AVC and uh, mine usually makes it into an M2TS file 
and that's what it is I click on this one let me just go do this so there we go I can customize it 60 frames per second pretty much here you can choose your encoding you can use the uh, CPU or GPU I usually leave that on automatic or sometimes it's not on automatic when you use it the first time so that's where you go to choose that and then here is the audio part and here you can check for your GPU mine is not available for this format but and also on here on rendering option you want to make sure it's uh, selected best usually it's just at this use project settings well, I always use the best so that's how you go about that no we're not going to render anything right now but this is just a tutorial on how to use the Sony Vegas I am Trucker Rudy signing out and have a good day